Well, this is a very interesting article from space.com. Now, this was published on the 28th of January 2014 and goes on to say that the North Star Polaris is getting brighter. The North Star has remained a eternal reassurance for northern travellers over the centuries, but recent and historical research reveals that the ever constant star is actually changing. After dimming for the last few decades, the North Star is beginning to shine brightly again. And over the last two centuries, the brightening has become rather dramatic. It was unexpected to find, Scott Engel of Villanova University in Pennsylvania told Space.com. Engel investigated the fluctuations of the star over the course of several years, combing through historical records and even turning the gaze of the famed Hubble Space Telescope onto the star. So it just goes on to say that in the early 1990s, it basically started dimming. However, just as they began to research the star at the beginning of 2000, they found that the dropping brightness was actually starting to increase again. And they say that it started increasing rather rapidly. And so they began searching through historical records to see what other measurements they could find. Combing through data from the past century, they compared the information on Polaris with observations of other celestial bodies from the same telescopes and details about the instruments to compare the relative brightness of Polaris over the years. And they found that the star had grown brighter over the past hundred years. The next step was to determine just how far back the increasing brightness went. Engel pursued observations by Danish astronomer Tycho Brahe in the 16th century and Persian astronomer Abd al-Rahman al-Sufi in the 10th century using information from historical texts to determine just how bright the star was in the ancient sky. According to Engel, if we take the measurements of al-Sufi and told me at face value the North Star has brightened by about two and a half times over the last two centuries. Modern interpretations of the historical data indicate that it could be as much as 4.6 times brighter than it was in ancient times. So it just goes on to say then that it is starting to brighten so much that their newer modern equipment is too sensitive to actually photograph Polaris anymore and they have to actually rely on older equipment now. Now the reason I find that this brightening of the North Star Polaris is quite interesting is because that the Orion Nebula has also started brightening. Now this article is quite interesting and I will post it underneath and it basically goes on to say that the first written observations were by al-Sufi, published in 1986 AD. But he does not mention or show any uh, new velocity of the Sword of Orion. And then it continues on that Galileo never mentions it, even though it was one of the first areas for his telescopic sweeps. In December 1610, he extensively observed the constellation of Orion, merely noting an increase in the number of stars in the region. Added that there were an additional, additional 80 stars or so within the sword which Galileo made in the subsequent drawn figure in the Sagreal Messenger. So it was not really till Christian... Uh, Hugens, that there was the first detailed description using a Galilean telescope in 1656. So it seems that we've seen the Orion Nebula also increasing in brightness dramatically. And so it gets even more interesting when you look at the Pyramid of Giza and you see that the south facing side of the pyramid is actually showing um, a connection from the King's Chamber to Orion and the Queen's Chamber to Sirius. And then on the north side of the pyramid, you can see a connection from the Queen's Chamber to Polaris and the King's Chamber to Draco.
and the star of Thuban, which is the head of the snake. So I just found that really interesting that we're starting to see a brightening now in the North Star Polaris. Well, I will put those articles underneath and as always, peace out.